Demon Abbott is one of the bosses at the end of Act 2 of Castle Morihisa, and I must say, this is one of the most well-designed bosses in the whole game. He will start the battle with two statuses, one permanent and one that will keep changing. His first status is called Reincarnation, and is the one that will trigger the second one to change every time he gets damaged. The sequence in which his second status will change is always the same, so you have to be strategic about how you want to play your cards, as he will not die unless he is in the right status. His second status will change into 7 different realms, and all that means is they will give him different buffs or give you some debuffs. The first realm he will be in is Asura realm, and it will inflict you with 2 stacks of Disarm and 2 stacks of Vulnerable. It's definitely one you want to avoid ending your turn on. Once he is attacked, the realm will change to Animal Realm, and that will stun him. However, once you attack him again, he will move into Heavenly Realm, which will deal 20 damage to the player at turn start. He will stay stunned. Next, he will change into Hungry Ghost Realm, and this time he will heal you for 5 health if you attack him again. But do attack him again, and he will move to Human Realm. That will grant him with 20 armor at turn start. The next and final realm he will change into after Human Realm is Hell Realm. And that one means that if he takes damage that reduces his health to zero, then he will truly die. If you deal damage that reduces his health to zero, and he is in any realm but the Hell Realm, he will instantly regenerate to 140 health. Other than that, he will attack for 12, 16, and he will heal for 24 health. The best build you can do in order to defeat Demon Abbot is an infinite build where you can really choose the attacks you want to do. However, infinite builds can be difficult to pull, especially towards the end of Act 2. By then, you either have one or you don't. And if you don't, then you might have to be extra careful when playing your cards. Play them right and you win. That's it for this guide. If you found this helpful, please drop a like and a comment for the algorithm. Take care and I'll see you next time.